So with the vector dA, it's scored uh, on a scale of 1 to 100, which is an easy uh, way to describe how the patient's doing. It's split up into three categories, a low, uh, moderate, and high disease activity. Um, so when you're discussing this with the patient, much like you discuss the sedimentation rate, it's easy to say, hey, Mrs. Jones, uh, your score is a 12, and that means uh, you're uh, in remission. Or, Mrs. Jones, your score is a 49, and I know we've been on methotrexate for a while, but it's time to make a decision in terms of more aggressive therapy. And um, if they've started off at an 80, for example, which is high disease activity, and they've been on combination therapy for six months, uh, are feeling kind of bewildered, not sure how well they're doing, and their score comes down to 35, it's not as great as we'd like it to be, but that 45 uh, point change uh, from baseline to where we are uh, is encouraging to patients. Patients get fixated on numbers. When we treat cholesterol, when we treat blood pressure, uh, when we treat diabetes, what's my number? Uh, and that's really what the Vectra has been able to provide for patients. What's my number? Where am I at? Where am I going? What's my target? Um, like a bone density, uh, the T-score. Um, but one thing we have to be careful about is not uh, overemphasizing a particular number because if we can't achieve that in some of our patients because of the heterogeneity of the disease, we don't want them to get too discouraged.